Greetings everybody. I already made a full guide on how to downgrade from iOS 15 to iOS 14 on Linux. You can check it out in the pinned comment in the description and in the card above. But due to high demand, I am making this for macOS. This is a reference guide. This is not a full guide as I am unable to connect my device with this KVM. But rest assured, I will show you everything you have to do to downgrade. First of all, you have to open this guide. You will find all the links needed in a text file in the description. You can check out that A11 and lower devices are supported. In this guide, we will only focus on A9 because with A11 and A10, you can use Linux to downgrade. Again, you have to refer to the guide in the description and in the pinned comment. So only for A9 currently, you have to use macOS. First of all, let's download Future Restore GUI. Open this link, scroll down and you will see the latest release right here. And download the DMG for your macOS. You can check out that I have already downloaded the DMG for Future Restore GUI right here. Next, you will need the SHSH blob for your device. Now you have to open the TSS Saver website. Again, the website's link is in the text file in the description. Click Retrieve. And here you have to enter your device's ECID. I have this ECID for my device written. This is the ECID for my device. Now to get the ECID for your device on macOS, simply connect your device in recovery mode onto your macOS and then click the Apple icon about this Mac. Click on system report. Now click USB. Your device will be listed under USB bus. And then when you click it, you will see the ECID right here. Now simply copy the ECID, then click retrieve and paste the ECID right here. Click submit. Open link. Now guys, you will see all the SHSH blobs that you had saved for your device when these versions were signed. So for example, I want to go to iOS 14.8. Download one of the blobs. As you can see, I have downloaded this blob already. Now head to this website, ipsw.me and select your device. For me, it is an iPhone. Now select your device. I will select iPhone SE. Now download the IPSW that you want to restore to or downgrade to. So for me, it is 14.8 that I want to downgrade to. Now download the IPSW from here. You can check out I have the IPSW right here. Now when you have collected all these files, now let's install Future Restore. Just drag Future Restore GUI to Applications. Open Applications. And you will see Future Restore GUI right here. Open it. You will see this message. Please don't worry, click on OK. In Applications, go to System Preferences. Now go to Security and Privacy. Now click Open Anyway. Click Open again. Now this will open Future Restore GUI in front of you. Now go to Settings and click Future Restore Beta. Close it and click Download Future Restore. This will now download Future Restore Beta version. And you will see Future Restore version 2.0.0 or later and test. So we are good to go now. Now guys, go to the guide again and go to the A9 section. Now guys, you have to download Eclipsa in order to get your device into Pond DFU mode. And then you can downgrade using Future Restore GUI. 
Now, if you have Xcode installed, you can download Eclipsa and then make Eclipsa file using the make command or you can download this zip. Now guys, open launchpad, open a terminal and first of all, run this command. Just copy it. This command will stop the following services running if they are running for you. Now simply double click the downloaded zip file. You will get the Eclipsa folder. Now type CD and drag Eclipsa onto the terminal. Press enter. Now you are in the Eclipsa folder. Inside Eclipsa folder, you will see these files. Now guys, don't be confused that there are two versions for your A9 device. One of these are made by Samsung and the other one is made by TSMC. You can try both if you are confused. Put your device into DFU mode. You can check it out on Google on how to do it for your device and then simply type dot slash Eclipsa for example 8000 and press enter. Now it will get your device into pawn GFU mode and after it has done its thing, your device will exit recovery. Once your A9 device is in pawn GFU mode, you have to run this last command from this guide. Just copy this command. and paste it into a terminal. Once done, now you can open Future Restore GUI. Now simply select the SHSH blobs you downloaded in step one. Select the blob, just double click. Now select the IPSW you want to downgrade to. Just double click. Now go to options, select pond restore and select set nonce to blobs. Make sure future restore version 2.0.0 test is selected here. Click next, leave it to latest baseband data SEP next and then click start future restore. Once this process is complete, your device will be set to this nonce according to the blob you have selected. Again, open future restore. Now go to options and you have to untick set nonce to blobs and pond restore. rest you can leave as is now click next next and click start future restore next when this process is done you will see restoring succeeded and your device will be downgraded to the version you have selected 